Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is not going to be the happiest of videos. I'm sure by the title of this video you know my husband quit his job. Honestly, this happened I believe on Monday of this week and I am still trying to process everything. So I was going to tell you a whole bunch of what happened, but honestly I just feel like it was maybe a little bit unnecessary. So I'm just going to give you the key points to everything and so we can move this along. But thank you either way for listening. It still overwhelms me, but I am going to talk about it a little bit if you want to move on to when I start working with my binders or whatever. I will have it all time stamped down in the description box, so if you don't want to know what's going on totally understand so basically my husband he was out of he was out working for about two to three weeks but then my husband he told his uh boss that oh hey i want to start my own business which is the same thing and yeah so i think that was two years ago when he started to tell him about that and this year he started to get more proactive and he got himself business insurance and started to reach out to people and say, oh, hey, I'm starting my business. So basically about a month ago in August or maybe the end of July, he met somebody who said, oh, I have jobs in Michigan, which are Outbacks. And he told them, I want you to do them for me since I know how you work. So fast forward to about the end, I think believe, I believe at the end of August when he left for the, his last trip, he told his boss like, oh, hey, beginning of September, I have a couple jobs up in Michigan that I, I have to do. And so his boss asked him, oh, that's great. What jobs are they? It was my fault. I guess, you know, we shouldn't say more than we have to when it comes to bosses, but I was like, what's the harm? I told him, just tell him I have jobs in Michigan and possibly, um, sorry, no, I told him to say, I have a couple Outbacks in Michigan and a couple Applebee's in Louisiana. And so it kind of started there where his boss was like, Outbacks, hmm, that's interesting because I do Outbacks. Why are you going after Outbacks if Outbacks are my jobs? And my husband's like, mm, I don't think you own Outbacks or you have a contract with them. If not, people would tell me that. And so basically it kind of started off there or whatever. But then my husband's like, um, I believe a couple of days before he was supposed to get back at the beginning of September, he tells him again, like, hey, I'm taking this next week off to go do my jobs. And his boss is like, okay, well, you know, we have a, we're really busy right now and maybe we could fit in some of my jobs while you're up there my husband's like okay no problem so everything was going good you know i'm like spending money like normally you know my husband gets back home um we go out to this new korean barbecue place we spend 150 dollars um we went to target we're just like you know cruising target most likely putting things in our cart that we actually don't need because we're like hey my husband has work we're all gucci everything's good so we probably spent like $500 in one weekend, unfortunately. And so come Monday, my husband goes to go get paid um, and we go to his boss's house. And unfortunately, some words were said, he, his husband showed his true colors. His husband, my husband's boss showed his true colors. He said a lot of unprofessional things. And so basically he threatened him saying, I will take legal action if you do these outbacks. And my husband's like, um, I don't think I can work with you if you're gonna be, you know, doing this. And so basically my, that was it. <laughs> he started to tell him, take your my tools out of your truck and that's it. And so basically this man was telling him like, you're not gonna succeed, your business is gonna fail. And a lot of stuff saying like, so my mom's name is Carolina. <laughs> and he's all like, I don't know if you're listening to Carolina or your dad, but they're giving you awful advice. You shouldn't be doing this. So technically my husband gets paid cash or however you wanna call it. So then he came at him that day that he went there to expecting to get a check. He told him, I'm not gonna pay you anything unless you sign this W-9 form. My husband was a bit weirded out, but he legitimately was not going to pay him his check unless he signed this form. And so right now, my husband did sign the form and it's been like a week and he's been waiting to get paid. So I do feel like that's also something really messed up that he did, that he's withholding his paycheck that he deserves to get. So a lot of stuff <laughs> went wrong that day. My husband's like, honestly, I think after this, he literally showed his true colors. Um, he doesn't respect me and you know, it just, it's not gonna work anymore. It's been a long time that I've been wanting to leave and right now it's a big push or whatever. And I'm like, okay, if that's what you want. I support my husband in all his decisions. It's just scary when you go from having steady income to where's our next check gonna come because you have a business you know 
It's extremely scary. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yes, be him being his own boss will make him definitely a lot more money, but if he's not getting consistent jobs, it doesn't matter if he gets $10,000 in one week, if he doesn't get another job for another four months. You get what I'm saying, guys? With you guys, we saw so much progress in my savings and everything, and we worked so hard, but at the same time, when I'm thinking about it, literally, I've said in multiple videos, we always saved enough money to get us through a bump in the road. Like, did we successfully save $7,000 in our savings to be able to use it in this moment? Did we save this certain amount of money so we can use it at this specific moment? Like, it's just so crazy how each time I save a certain amount of money, somehow it always is needed at a certain point. I'm extremely overwhelmed, if you can tell. <laughs> um, I just don't know what's gonna happen, but I do know that some envelopes are just gonna have to be taken away because I do not, I no longer have the luxury of just cash stuffing whatever I want anymore. Right now, up until probably the end of the year or next year, it's gonna be, even though I don't know what his income's gonna be, these envelopes are gonna be taken out unless I see that he has at least a consistent amount of works each month. Right now, I actually literally have no more money in my cash envelopes. Probably the money that I'm gonna pull out from here is gonna go into my cash envelopes. Um, so yeah, but let's go ahead and get started on these binders. So the first binder I'm going to start off with is my high priority sinking fund binder. Um, I don't know how many of these. I do want to say that I'm not going to get rid of some that are extremely important to me. Like, let's say I'm not going to get rid of one where I can't no longer get waxed or my husband can't have money for himself if he wants to buy something. Because one way or another, we have to at least enjoy our lives a little bit, even if we're like, dang, I don't even have money to buy myself ramen noodles. But it's like, those things matter in a way to help keep you going when you're struggling financially. If you literally have no money left aside for at least a burger because that's what brings you happiness, it'll make t life 10 times worse. So I just want to say that. Oh, and another thing is that if I do do other budgeting videos, it's probably going to be a majority bills and very few um, sinking funds because his check that he's going to get with these jobs that he's doing in Michigan, because yes, right now he's in Michigan. Um, that's majority going to cover a lot of bills for the next month or two because I want my bills paid. I want that 100% secure. And then groceries and gas. If I can't put anything into my own personal envelope, so be it. Um, I do still have enough to maybe get me a couple waxes, <laughs> but a lot of this stuff is not going to get a priority. Um, so I just want to go ahead and let you all know kind of what I'm aiming for. Whew. Okay, so, um, fun has 157. So some of these envelopes like this one, I'm going to leave alone. And if I do need money from there, I will take it out. But some of these envelopes probably aren't going to get any more money. Personal has 145, like I said. That's most likely going to be able to maintain my waxes for at least a month or two or two to three months. So that's definitely staying there. Um, my husband's envelope, because he never spent anything, has 265. I'm going to leave that there as well. Like I said, he does not spend money. Car maintenance, 440. That is staying there 100%. My husband, literally, um, before we knew anything about him quitting or what was going to happen, he literally said we, he had to go get an old change and they said it's time for you to get new tires and his tires are going to cost about a thousand dollars so we were definitely like oh everything's going to be okay no problem and now it's like i need to start saving for when my car needs tires the only good thing about it is that i don't really go anywhere so i've had my tires for three years and they're still working really great and my husband has had his for two years or was is it one year one or two years i think it's one year actually so there goes that Oh, no, no, that's definitely going to stay here because I definitely think that's going to come in handy. Most likely not going to be adding anything here anymore, um, but this is just be my buffer. So my high priority sinking fund binder is going to stay as is. My low priority sinking fund binder. Home, it's going to stay. It has $111. I just spent on laundry detergent, so at least I'm good with that. I'm probably going to have to go back to couponing so I can get that free toothpaste and probably use very horrible um, 
shampoo and conditioner with my couponing as well but it is what it is because i got to have money and as long as my hair is washed that's all that matters my dog goodies has 187 which oh i actually need to take money out of here i think it's like 68 dollars because my dog did just get groomed because i said i need to get her groomed one more time because she was really janky and it's the one that typically has a lot of long hair so that's gonna stay my dog's um medical bill which is 205 that is also gonna stay here because that is very important to me and i need to have at least some money covered instead of having to dip into an emergency fund or something so maybe those might not be getting that much money anymore or at all but it's gonna stay right there clothes has 220 dollars that's gonna stay like that if i spend it oh well it's not gonna get any money unless i really need it um but obviously i need money for clothes one day medical has 538 like i've told you all before i have a lot of medical stuff coming up and i need some money to pay these medical bills <laughs> travel um we were literally i believe 400 dollars away from our goal of two thousand dollars i might stuff it i don't know at all but this one is not getting any more money um i'm probably going i don't know if i want to take it out and just put it back in the bank um, because I literally don't need this money here because I most likely don't plan on adding anymore. Um, so there goes that, unfortunately. <laughs> Presents has 355. Um, I think I'm going to leave this here. I'm not going to take any money out of this one right now because like I said, I still want to, if I can treat my family, I will, but if not, then... Oh well. I know it seems like I'm literally not taking any money out of these, but I just want to show you where my thought process is. School only has $22, so I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but most likely school is not going to get any more money. Um, so after some of these are already spent, I will be taking out the envelopes. So that is it for this one. Alrighty, now for my future savings and debt binder. This one I was really excited about. Um, decor unfortunately i'm going to have to get rid of this one because there's no need for decor anymore which had 136 dollars let me put that right there so decor will be coming out um my husband's truck um i'm gonna leave that one alone because he still might need stuff for his car one day my maserati unfortunately will not be getting anything as well actually i don't think i'm gonna take them out i think i'm gonna actually leave them in here because hopefully one day we're stable enough to go back to them i think it's more i'm going to just take out the money from them Alrighty, my maserati it had 106 dollars i don't need anything for my car right now so that's going to be taken out uh, my husband's citizenship, we were planning on paying a lawyer to do his citizenship that I was thinking cost around $1,000, but I think us doing it ourselves might cost around five to 600 and we literally have $625, so I'm probably going to take that out and put it in the bank, um, but not right now. I just want to let you all know where we were. As you can see, we were so close to being done. Who knows? Maybe I'll still add more to it. I really don't know what we're going to do. Unfortunately... My second amendment envelope is no longer going to get anything because that is no longer a priority for us. Um, it's it's just not something I need to save for right now. So, And things that I don't want to save for anymore, I'm not going to keep the money in here when it could be used towards something else. Next is our ring envelope. I only have $73 in here. I already said that I wasn't even going to save anything here until um, I started working. So... There's no point in continuing this envelope. And then my wedding one. Once again, I said I wasn't going to stuff this one until I started working. So there's no point in keeping that one. House has $200. I know actually some person in another um, video said that I should still keep saving for a house. But honestly, there's nothing wrong with not owning a house. So I'm going to take this money out. And then my debt number one, which is my husband's truck, we found out that he owed actually $4,300 and we just made a $1,500 payment. So now he has 
$2,800 left over, which is all of these. I thought I was going to be all the way down here. Unfortunately, I was not. We didn't pay all of it because I believe I had $750 in here. Just because I was like, I don't know how much we owe. Is it really going to make that big of a dent? And it really didn't. So I actually might take this money out um, if we need it. I, I just feel like I'm just going to leave this in here for the time being because I don't want to worry about this anymore. So that is actually it for my future savings and debt binder. I think there's only like, what, one or two in here that I'm actually keeping. Um, it really does suck. I'm probably going to move those to my low priority sinking fund binder or I don't know what I'm going to do, but it is really unfortunate but it is what it is guys trying to stay positive now for this guy my savings binder i've decided i'm not going to keep adding to savings um i ended up with 72.90 i will try to put something towards savings but i don't know honestly what i want to do um, the 52 week challenge, unfortunately, I don't think I can honestly sustain this since I don't know what's going to happen, how my income is at all. I just don't think this will be plausible for me. I know people who are low income, but have at least know what they're going to make. You know, I definitely think one of those challenges is definitely right for you. But for me, since I have absolutely no idea when my husband's going to get paid or how often, how much, this just does not seem in the cards for me right now. So that's going to go away, unfortunately. I mean, we did get four numbers. <laughs> emergency fund. I'm probably going to continue this one just because emergency funds are important. We did make it to 852 this year, um, which I'm extremely happy about. Um but I don't know which numbers I'm going to do next or how it's going to go. But that money's still going to stay there. Christmas. Honestly, my goal was actually $2,000. We made it kind of halfway. Um, I just don't know if I'll be able to continue. I did reach the $1,000 mark. Last year, my goal was actually $1,000. And it did work pretty fine. I think I may have went like a little bit over budget. But it honestly did work out for us. So I will see how it goes, if I have any money left over somewhere. But, or during December, I'll probably start doing side more side hustles like Amazon, Instacart, DoorDash to be able to make more money. But um, other than that, I don't know if I'll be able to continue this challenge, unfortunately. Now, my baddies and budgets challenge. I was so excited to finish this one. I was like, I love this challenge so much. I was so excited because I was doing like six fives each month. I mean, each week this month, which I would have ended up with like $120 to $150 this month, which was really exciting. But unfortunately, like I said, with the 52 week challenge, I just don't know if I can continue this one. I hate that I can't finish it so, so bad. I just don't want to stress about something and feel bad that I can't do it each week. So I'd rather just not do it to myself. Um, so I unfortunately am not going to be doing these challenges anymore. Um, I'm going to put this one at the back for right now. <sighs> the next one is my self-care challenge. Another one that I haven't put any money into because I said I was going to do it until I started working. So I am going to take this one out. And this one is not a necessity. It was to color my hair, but my hair is all black. It'll be fine. I'm not going to die over that. And the other ones are just the extra. I had to dip into the extra that I set aside these past few weeks. Alrighty. My baddies and budget challenge. It's time to take them out, unfortunately. And go ahead and see how much we saved. So January, we did $30. February, $13, so that's 23. Uh, March, we did 11, so that's 54. Um, April, we did 24, so that's 78. Then May, we did 24, that's 100, 112, I believe. And then uh, June, we did 40, so that's 152. Then July, we did 65, what is it? 152. So 152, 152, 202, plus 15, 217. <laughs> 217 plus August, 91. So that's 218, plus 90, uh, 218. 
308 plus our 60 so like 368 in september oh my gosh that math was probably so wrong i'm so sorry i forced you all to go through that Alrighty, so now i have 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 50 60 70 80 90 1 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. So 68, 168, 268, 368. I guess right here I'll tell you if I was at least close enough. So that is it for this video. Um... I don't know if I actually told you the full story because I just don't know how I would feel about sharing it all or if it's okay to say it all. Um, let me quickly put these in here. But I just want to say I appreciate everyone who is here. I'm sorry if I've let anyone down. Um, it's the last thing I really want because I know a lot of people honestly like to watch my videos. If not, no one would have subscribed. Um, I wish I could do more, but unfortunately, I just can't anymore. Um, I want to make sure that me and my family are completely comfortable without having to, like, be worried. So this is why I'm doing this. Um <sighs> I just wish I knew what was going to happen because I'm such a control freak like that. But unfortunately, I have no control over this. I will count this afterwards and I will let you all know how much I pulled out of my binders. Um, I hope you all will still stick with me. Um, I just don't know what's going to happen. Um, it'll probably go back to being monthly stuffings or something. Or just saying, hey, I got this much money but all of it went towards bills. Um, <laughs> unfortunately. So that's just how, that's how the cookie crumbles, guys. Thank you so much for being patient with me. Um, I'm sorry this was kind of a sad video, but that is the reality of everything. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Um, guys, I need all the money I can get, so subscribe so I can get that YouTube money. <laughs> and um, I will see you in my next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching.